Okay, so if you play poker and you know what a straight is and if you know what a three of a kind is or if you just know how to play poker, this is going to be a very, very um, easy for you to follow. Now, here's the deal. The point of the game is you get eight cards and the goal through trading with your opponent um, you want to get to nine cards. And the way you get to nine cards is if you can successfully get uh, what I call books, libros, to, me to meld together. And what does melding mean? Well, th two, three, four, five, this is one book. They connect, they meld. So this is this is considered a book, a libro. And then over here, you got three, four, five, six, seven. This is a meld. It's, it's a book. It's a libro. These can be officially used to win the game. You got five cards here, you got four cards here, you were dealt eight, this is nine, you win the game. So I'm gonna show you really quick how to actually win the game from a hand that is freshly dealt to you, okay? These cards are made of plastic. They got air cushion, uh, air cushion technology so that when you actually do this like that, they slide really nice across the table. And of course, there's a really nice grip material coated here on the top, and um, they're overall really nice, really nice cards. If you do card tricks, you'll love them. And of course, if you play Konkian, or some people know it as Barajas, or some people know it as Naipes, you're hearing a lot of Spanish terminology because this is primarily played by a lot of the Latin community, but everybody should play this game. It's really fun. So here we go eight cards. I'm going to play them up so that you can see them. So here we go. 11, 12, 4. And check this out. If you don't deal the cards like this, your opponent, if they know what they're doing, they will say that you didn't know what you were doing and they'll try to beat you up and take your money. Because when you play this game, a lot of people are known for getting mad if you don't deal three cards, two cards, three cards, two cards. Or three cards, two cards, then three cards. They're trying to avoid you trying to swindle them, right? So that's eight cards. One, two, three. That's eight cards, and these go in the middle. So the first thing you want to do is you want to organize your deck so that you can try to catch as many three of a kinds or four of a kinds or straights or libros as possible. So I got lucky. I got two sevens here. So one more seven and I'll have three, which is a book, which is a book, a libro. And then I have this ugly, ugliness that's going to be really hard to connect. Okay. This person, on the other hand, has, let's see. Oh, they got an 11, 11, 12. And these are espadas. If you don't know the, the symbols on these, when you play poker, you have uh, aces, clubs, diamonds, and hearts. Here you have coins, oros. You have cups, copas. You have swords, espadas. And you have clubs, bastones. Okay? And just because they're not spades, hearts, diamonds, and, 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 and clovers doesn't mean that, you know, that it's a, not a cool game. It just means that it's a different set of symbols, okay? You're going to love the way this game plays out. So check this out. The first thing you do after you organize your card, your cards, is you got to trade a card. So remember, the other opponent can't see, can't see these. I can't see those. They're going to give me this one because they think they don't need it. I'm going to give them this 11 because, let's see, am I going to give them the 11? I would have given them, I would have given them this 10. So watch what happens. They gave me, I gave them a 10. They gave me an 11. This did nothing for me. Nothing. I can't connect it with nothing. But I gave this guy a 10. And secretly, he now has a book. 10, 11, 12. So even on the first trade, you can either hurt your opponent or you can help them out. They're not going to tell you, but they have now a book. So what happens? The person that didn't shuffle gets to flip a card here from the community pile first into what's called the basura, the garbage. This is considered garbage until somebody takes it. Now, the only way you can take it is if you can immediately use it to make a book, a libro. In this case, they can't do nothing with a six. I could have done something with a six. If I had another six right here, I would have had two sixes. 
And I would have been good. I would have been that would have been my third six. But since I don't have it, we gotta skip that. So now I get to flip an eleven. Okay. Can't do nothing with that eleven. If I had a ten, it would have been ten, eleven, twelve, but I don't have a ten. So or do I? Let's see what's right here. Okay. I don't have a ten, so now we now the other person flips. A three. A green three, right? Of clubs. Let's see, can I do something? No. Can they do something? No. A seven. Now check this out. In this game, there are no eights and there's no nines. You'll see that very adamantly here. So the numerically, it goes one through seven, and then after seven, it goes 10, 11, 12. Guess what happens now? This person's going to take the card because they have seven, 10, 11, 12. This is still a book. Now they have to give up a card. Which card are they going to give up? They're going to give up this 12 over here. Why are they going to give up the 12? Because they have hopes and dreams that they're going to get a, a red 3 so they can have 2, 3, 4. So they're going to give this up, this 12. I'm going to look at the 12, and it's not going to do anything for me. So flip over the next card. Nope, they can't do nothing with the 3. If I had another 3, that would have been my third 3. I would have had three threes. That would have been great, but I don't have it. Here's a five. If they had two fives, that would have been the third five. That would have been another book. Here's a ten. Okay, now check this out. I'm going to take this. Why? Because remember, the next number after seven is ten, because there aren't any eights and nines. So after ten is eleven. So I officially have my first book. Now I'm going to dump a card that I don't need. Okay? I don't need this red three. So I'm going to give it up. I give it up. But guess who needs it? This guy. Without me knowing, I just gave this guy another book. Two, three, four. He has two, three, four. He has seven, 10, 11, 12. And then he has these two fives. So he's doing really good. Or she. And uh, me, on the other hand, all I have are these two ones. I have two sevens. Okay. And 10, 11. So well, actually, I. Yeah, 10, 11. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep it this way on purpose because if I catch a 12, that'll be officially a book. So let's see what happens. A one. Guess what? This guy's gonna keep it because now he has one, two, three, four. He's gonna give up this 10 because he has to pay. If he takes one, he has to pay one. I can't use it, so now I'm gonna flip a four. Can't use it. An 11. I can't use it. They can't use it. That person, we're going to say that that person flipped. Uh, here's a 12. I can't use it. They can't use it. Four. No, nobody can use it. Three. No good to me. Six. Six, seven, ten, eleven. So I'm going to take it. Okay. So move these over. 6, 7, 10, 11. Now, because I took a card, I have to pay one. I have to give one up. So I'm going to give up... Uh, I'll give up this 12. Okay. So now that I'm giving up this 12, they can't use it. I can't use it. I gave it up. The next card gets flipped over. Here's a 2. They can't use it. I can't use it. A 4. Again, I can't use it. A 10. If I had a 6, it would have been 6, 7, 10. And that 6 would have had to have been the same color blue. I don't have it. We're going to keep flipping. Another 6. Check this out. This person here got a 6, 7, 10, 11, 12. Okay. This is 5 cards. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. They have 4 of these cards connecting over here. One, two, three, four. So five plus four is nine. They pay with their final card. This person has nine cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. They won the game because they were dealt eight cards. And through trading with the deck into the garbage, through trading with the opponent, myself, they were able to connect and meld nine cards. They win. Let's see what... Look at this. This five was next. I would have had a five, six, seven, ten, eleven. I would have paid probably with this 
six, seven, two, five, one, and finally two. I had no chance this person won the game. So again, five cards here, four cards here. They have nine cards from nine, or they, they made nine cards from eight. They officially win the game. So if you know how to play poker, or if you even if you don't know how to play poker, but you can understand the concept of getting four cards numerically, like one, two, three, four, or a three of a kind, four, 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 or if a four of a kind, five, 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 as long as you can make nine cards happen, you can win the game. There are ways to mess up the other person. Um, you can make them take cards, and you'll see those in later videos, more advanced videos. Do me a favor. Follow us here uh, at Gonkian Card Games. We have a Twitch. We have TikTok, YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook. If you guys want to order more cards, I'm going to give you guys for watching this video uh, two promo codes. You have the promo code STREAM. You buy two decks of cards. You get uh, $5 off that order. And then, they get, of course, they get shipped to you. And then the promo code um, uh, TRES, that's three in Spanish, you get $3 off a deck of cards. It basically covers, um, I want to say shipping. Uh, GonkianCardGame.com is the name of the website if this is your first time seeing the game. But if you are a fan of poker and you are looking for a good card game to play, um, when you're with your friends, this is a three-player game. People who play four, five, six players, they just throw in another deck. They mix them up, and that's a really epic game. Um, I would say maybe buy two decks, mix them up. You can play with multiple players, or you can just play one-on-one -on -one with one deck, and that's perfectly fine. Super cool, awesome game. There are going to be more decks coming out, and um, you know this is a game, if you, if you don't know, that's played a lot in the in the Latin community. We know that the Chinese played the game at one point. The Italians play the game. I think they call it Scoba. Um, you might notice that this game is similar to Gin Rummy. If you know any of those games, or even if, again, you play poker, this is something that you can really sink your teeth into. It's a really fun game, but um, look for more cards coming out in the near future uh, from us at Gonkian Card Game. Dot com and uh, I really appreciate you taking your time to watch this video share the video with your friends and stay tuned for live streams of live games uh, just about every day we're gonna do that uh, between me and the family so if you have any questions feel free to let me know like comment and share I am out of here thank you so much and um, happy gaming <laughs>